Live here on Source Fed Nerd, uh, the show that we usually do every Thursday uh, today at 4:30 yes. live on Source Fed Nerd on YouTube. Uh, I'm just letting you all know right off the bat, this show is moving to Fridays. If you want to watch this show live and participate <laughs> in the live discussion, we are now going to be shooting it Fridays at 4 p.m. Believe me, believe me, this is the last time we're going to move it for a very long time. Yes. And, and everyone's is, making fun of me because I'm gesturing with my hand to let everyone know it's okay. And also, believe Matt, believe Matt, it is for the best. It is for the best. It is. Yeah. Uh, I am Matt Lieberman. Joining me on the panel, of course, uh, Miss Maud Garrett. Hey, guys. Yay! Great to be back. Yay! Uh, Sam Basher. Hello. Yay! Yay! Uh, and DJ Wooldridge. What's happening? Yeah. Uh, guys, <laughs> uh, give, out, give out your Twitter Ooh, handles hey. for those who, who are unaware. At Maud Garrett. At... Sam Basher. At DJ Talks Trash because my name was taken already. Yes. Oops. Do you know who that person is? Do I don't you know. know. But if I ever met him, I'd beat him up. There's yeah. another Maud Garrett in the world. She's yeah. actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of Matt Liebermans, but I was the first to grab at Matt Lieberman on Twitter. Yes. Nice. Um, this show is done live on, <laughs> on YouTube on SourceFedNerd, youtube.com slash SourceFedNerd. It's also available as an audio podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. Go check that out and rate and review the show so you can get a great Shout out here on the show in the middle. Uh, also, you can tweet at us live using the hashtag SHRoundup to participate in our conversation and, of course, in the chat on YouTube. So today oh, yeah. on the show, we're going to be talking about the latest episode of iZombie. Mm. We are going to be talking about a bunch of news and gossip that's been going around. Uh, we are going to do a spoiler-free review of uh, the Supergirl pilot. Which but I'm going week. to yeah. do an impersonation of her. Okay. That's all. It, it, it might be a little mean-spirited at times, but we will be fair. We'll be very, be very, very fair. It's going to be another one where everybody tries to tell DJ he's wrong. Well, <laughs> well it's, I think it's more complicated than that. It's more complicated. But for it's those free. of you who are unaware, the show leaked last week. Uh, many people who are cynical, like me, believe that the studio leaked it after the bad word of mouth about their trailer. Ooh. I personally believe because it because there's it no water, sense. no no watermark, and it was leaked in 1080p. They wanted they wanted us to see it. And I'm of the opinion that that was a good idea. I think it was a good <laughs> idea, too, because it honestly, I it, and we'll get into it yeah, more well, later, but I honestly thought it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'm still not a huge fan, but we'll get into that later. Um, and, of course, we're going to round it out with the question of the day, which is, in your opinion, what was the comic book show of the year? And we covered a lot. We covered Gotham mm -hmm. and Constantine oh, yeah. and Ooh, Agent uh, Carter and uh, Marvel's Agents it's of Shield, Shield and Flash, Flash Arrow, Arrow, Daredevil, and iZombie. iZombie and Powers. And Powers. Nine a whole shows. A bunch Nine of shows. shows. We've, been, we've been doing this now for a very long time. Yes. Um, and uh, we want to know what's your show of the year and what is your episode of the year. So mm. tweet those thoughts to hashtag SHRoundup on Twitter. Now let's let's jump into this iZombie let's. conversation because I... This show continues to impress mm -hmm. with uh, the depth of its writing, with the quality of the performances, um, and just how ambitious it is. I'm yes. liking how quickly things are moving, and I like that they're not afraid to play with audience expectations. Yeah, yes. especially in this episode, because mm -hmm. she eats the brain of a crazy person, <laughs> and shenanigans ensue. They've yes. been having a lot of fun with that recently. Like yes. The Alcoholic was a great yep. storyline, yes. and the, the crazy Daredevil, person. The adventure. Yeah. Head. What I really like about this show, and what sets it apart from all the other shows that I feel we have been reviewing, uh, I say that we because I've been on board once, but um, <laughs> is that in iZombie... You actually like the characters. Yes, a all lot. Those, actually, all of them. All, all the characters. Them. You like these people yeah. and you have their backs and you want to support them. And I feel like watching The Flash, there's always somewhere where I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's funny. I was actually joking before we went on air that I like these characters so much that I really want this season to end with her not being a zombie anymore and everybody's happy just because I like everybody mm -hmm. so much that I want it just, I want everything to be okay. You're yeah. cute. End scene. Even Blaine? Yeah. Even Blaine? <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe not playing. All, all He's of our so main charismatic. Customers. I want him at the very least to like be locked up, but you know, satisfied. Blaine, Blaine is like any good villain. Like my go-to is uh, Koba in my brain from Ooh. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah. That that he was so I understood him so well, mm. but I could not wait to see him get his ass handed to him. Mm. And it's the same with Blaine. It's like, oh, he's charismatic, he's fun, but I really want. What's coming well, he, in this episode, he walks straight into where Liv works. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, how arrogant is that? Well, he's he, been there before. But I know, yeah, but now there's, like, 
there's a bit of tension. She's booted him out of his life, and no. that's like kind of done. And he just strolls on back in like there's nothing wrong because he has he's a little something something from a little birdie. Mm -hmm. They both know each other's secrets, and you're yep. waiting for them to snap. Yep. Does Blaine only hire beefy guys in sh in sleeveless hoodies? They're thugs. Yes. It's kind of smart. They're stupid <laughs> and they're very strong, especially yeah. with zombie strength. Mm-hmm. Red eyes, yeah. buddy. Although I think um the guy that Major thinks is Candyman but is not Candyman and whose actual name I cannot remember is not stupid, but he is beefy and sleepy. He actually was kind of funny and witty with his dialogue yeah. a couple of episodes back, and I was like, You are breaking the mold of what the dumb thug is supposed to I'm be. I'm still mm -hmm. bummed we lost the dumb thugs that were talking about working out and like trying to replace Blaine because for dumb thugs they were kind of funny. They were perfect. Yeah. yeah. They're perfect. Anyway, but they're dead good now. dumb thugs. But yeah. yeah, there's there's nothing better than this cast. The chemistry between Liv and Major, especially this week, oh. and what heartbreak that after this amazing scene where she comes out to him as a zombie and he understands and they commiserate and there's cuddling yeah. and you're just like, oh man, this is exactly what we all wanted and it was all a freaking lie. It was, it was all a lie and, and Major is continually getting deeper down the rap. Like he's gonna, he's gonna get killed. No, like, don't unless, say that. But like, like if like, something uh, doesn't, like if if something in the pattern does not change, it's it's not gonna go well for him. Yeah. But I love. I wish every show, specifically Flash, would watch this show. And s this is how you do a love interest. Yeah. Because not only does he is he doing things, but now he's almost with the way that this episode ends, kind of a borderline antagonist without meaning to be. And it's like that's really interesting. Do you know what else a I little. like with his character is that he's a, one of the best looking guys on the planet. I will ha happily say that to his face, uh, and I'll say that to everyone watching. But he's not again the cliche. Pretty boy. Yes. He is one of the funniest characters on the yes. show. He has those one-liners that he delivers effortlessly, yeah. and he pulls it off. Yeah. So to have, like, the hot funny guy, like, sign me up. That's kind of something that you just don't see And he's also one of the few characters that does things that make sense. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. He generally operates from a place of intelligence. Yeah. He, he operates, there's a, there's a term in comedy, operating at the top of your intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, so that even when you're doing something stupid, if you act as if you know what you're talking about, it ultimately is funnier than watching someone bumble around. And the same thing is yeah. true with drama. He is always, even if he's ill-informed, he's operating from the top of his intelligence. Other than some wow. of the stuff he does this episode. Him like checking himself was good. Him going in the trunk and stealing stuff, that was... That oh, was, that was annoying. That was no, no that's, that's the man. And that's okay. It wasn't the smartest, but it made sense at least for his it, character. It made sense, especially since somebody's telling what's going yeah. on. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Uivar, uh up there in the chat says that DJ's right. I worry for Major mm. um, that something bad is going to happen to him. Yeah. There was uh, a comment that said he should die and become a ghost. A ghost? <laughs> I don't know if we're ready for human? ghosts on this and show. I also we're don't still dealing with zombies. I don't know if this show. Obviously, the I talked originally when the show aired that the comic has more like she's friends with a wear terrier and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was coming from the more fantastic side. This mm -hmm. show comes from more of the science fiction side of zombies. Yeah. So I don't know if it could support a ghost. Um, as cool as it see. would be. We got oh, a tweet see. here from Amanda Alcatraz at Keep Looking Up Twelve. Who is going to kill Blaine? I will. Maud will kill Blaine. <laughs> Happily. Whew, glad we got yeah, that zombie sorted. rat. I don't even know. I would actually surprise me if he died at the zombie. end of the season. Although I do feel know. like zombie hitman and Max Rager guy were setups for the antagonist for season two. Right. Oh, we only have two yeah, more yeah, episodes yeah. left. I feel like that's seeding oh. stuff. He was scary. Yeah. The scene on the boat last yeah. week. That yeah. was, was some of the pretty terrifying. That was nail biting. He was yeah. a great right. antagonist. I'm yeah. more scared mm -hmm. of him than anyone else. So if they do get rid of Blaine, there's. People waiting in the wings to replace oh, someone. Yeah. David Tap Anders is so good. Yeah. yeah, I would. It wouldn't surprise me if they incarcerate him or something, and then you do the classic thing where they have to team up with him to take down the Max Rage. In people. like an illegal mm. prison inside of a particle. Das, Bl das Blackman uh, in the chat says Major is a solid representation of a realistic vigilante way in over his head. Hey. I think that's a great way to put it. it. Yeah. Is he's somebody who has been thrust into this role of of a crime fighter? Yeah. Because no one believes him, and he's doing what he can, but he honestly doesn't know how to proceed. Well, when you think about it, the two main human characters is Dr. Ravi and Major, and Dr. Ravi was like, oh, you're a zombie? Great. Let's yeah. get down to business. Yeah. It's like, well, that's, he wasn't freaked out. No. He just took it in his stride. And I think there was something else that happened this episode. I wrote in my notes, Nothing phases Ravi about mm -hmm. Liv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this know, point. She's like, oh, I'm going to kill Blaine. He's, he's like, like the, he's like the perfect it. best friend, really. Yeah, he's, yeah. Just, he's just, you know, along with the ride. But then Major is like the... 
um, what we would actually be like. Because none yeah. of us are doctors trying to save zombieism. Yeah. So, like, I think that's kind of how we relate to him, and that's why he's an integral character in the show. Yeah. As a love interest, he is like the most like I've ever been like behind the character, like supporting yeah. him. Like you when really Iris, want him to like, do well. exactly like when Iris is going after the Flash, I'm like, yeah. she gets yeah. a little yippy. If, yeah. If they, if they, yeah. She's, she's yippy. yippy. Yeah. If, they, if they killed off Iris or wrote out Iris, you'd be like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. yeah uh, whereas Major, like, no! Yeah. Can, I, can I throw out a, a couple of big ideas? Uh -huh. First of all, timeline of Liv's crazy hallucination, Major. Yeah. When he leaves the apartment after the, the four yes. date. Yes, which, by the way, they need to do more with Peyton. But anyway. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, because she's great. The, the, her, her, the roommate. Oh, my and gosh, that sucks to short ratio. Mm -hmm. thing. That was fun. I, that I love so that, she and, that she and Ravi are, you know, yeah. and that she good. likes him. That yeah. she genuinely good for both yeah. of them. Good no, for that both. whole date scene was adorable. Was yeah. Yeah. From every Although, angle. Although, for a first date, don't, don't, don't have a built-in third with us, please. Don't have a built-in, but it was like, yeah, it's like a group date. Hey, kids are doing that these days. But anyway. So, so uh, Major leaves, yes. and then it's not real Major it's who comes Major back. It's fake Major who comes back. Right. Yeah. So yeah. after that, it's all fake Major. Also, I want to ask the question, how did the rat get better, and is it actually better, or is that an illusion? Wasn't there one more sample of the Max Rager that he's been tweaking levels of yeah. serum to kind of make an antidote, and it worked? Ooh. Well, we do know that Ooh. whatever Ooh. happens, because there is a season two, that they're not, unless unless she gets fixed and, like, Ravi becomes a zombie or something, that they're not, something's going to happen. Will he do well with the bleach hair? I don't know, probably is it <laughs> is it weird if I if I say the titles in the next two episodes? Can I? Is I mean, that, I'm is fine that with that. A spoiler? Be, that's a I don't spoiler. think it's a spoiler. If you think it's a spoiler, mute, mute your computer for Briefly. like 30 seconds. And then and then we'll wave you back. Yeah. yeah I did come uh, So next week's episode, I believe, is called uh, Brown, Wat, Brown Rat, White Rat, Human Rat, Zombie Rat, or like something like that. <laughs> yeah. And then the season finale episode is called Blaine's World. So, Interesting. so excellent. It's definitely <laughs> going to come good. down, come to a head with Blaine in the finale. Yeah. So whether Which that means exciting. that we see the 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 absolute depth of his zombie army yeah. that he summons Which of all these people. The it's a shocking amount of people. A at this lot point. of people. Okay. But <laughs> oh, yeah. to the title of this episode, it's, it was kind of funny because it's Astro Berg, and it took me a second to be like, why? Because of the astronaut that he's yeah. going to feed. I didn't think about that. Too hard. <laughs> I, yeah, I was cool. like, yeah. they don't. It's There's no in Seattle, yeah. not in California. Yeah. There's an actual an actual restaurant called Astro Burger. Astro Burger. I feel like that plot line is a little superfluous in a way where it's like they made the brands and then they stole the brands and it wasn't really the crux it's, of the episode. It's gotta come back bring it somehow. Yeah. I would have liked mm. it to be like the devil talks. Because I, I feel like sense. you can't. I can't think that you kidnap an astronaut and then kill him and then feed him to people and everything turns out to be fine. Yeah, you don't get away with that. Bro. Yeah, I feel like it feels a little bit too ambitious. Meddling teenagers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Meddling zombies. <laughs> meddling zombie um, teenagers. That's Art fun. at Lil Big Sean 1 says Blaine's death would be so good with what the writers are doing. I think that however they get rid of him, if they get rid of him, it's going to be an epic death worthy of this character. Yeah, probably. Sam's I mean, they have, to, a, they have to pay face. it off. Sam's got a face. Sam, Sam has, has a face. Sam has a face. Your face has a point. He's so Sam good. has a point. Sam has a point. You don't know this. I really like David Anders and everything he does. He's so good. Oh my gosh, an alias? I didn't watch it. In Alias, alias I mean, he was else. great. I didn't watch Alias. It was before my time. That was like the first thing that was launched. Heroes it. season it was two was largely so garbage, but he was the best part of it. He was amazing in it. He was great in Once Upon a Time, which is really hard to do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that show is... Who was he in Once Ooh. Upon a Time? He's Dr. Frankenstein. Oh, what? what? Good yeah, casting. Oh, Dr. Frankenstein? See, how, see, I can pitch that as a great idea. The show's not that good. But anyway, <laughs> I still watch it. Somebody but, said uh, they should buy me new I know, you yeah, looked down. Oh, I read that, and I looked at you, and I I'm an editor by trade, all right, guys? He's a working man. He just needs his brain and comics. Okay. But David Anders is fantastic, and it would be sad to see him go. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. But um, new villain, new zombie villain's great too. Yeah. Final thoughts on this episode before we move on? It gets better and better every single week, yeah. and I can't yeah. wait to see more. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's great, but it's almost uh, it's challenging because it's like you like these characters so much, and it's getting tough for them. Yeah, it gives me an anxiety attack watching this. <laughs> also, with the video, mm -hmm. I have never been so stressed out watching a. C uh, CW show. I'm like, why am I so stressed out? Like, when I was just stressed out during. Eat the yeah, thing. it's a, it, it, it was it's, gruesome. That is the best. That followed by Major coming and saying, "I'm going to kill them all," is actually the yeah. best validation for her not telling him the yeah. show's ever yes. done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I finally like, oh, maybe not. Yeah, I watched it with you tell. yesterday, though. You called who the murderer was like that. That's the one thing I don't like. Yeah. Yes. Is the case of the week. You, 
it's very easy to guess who did it because it's always like the first or second person that they introduce. <laughs> they always have some level of sour mood to them, yeah. and then they disappear until the end of the episode when it's revealed that it's them. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. SVU did that for like 16 yeah. years. Yeah, and I so. still watch it. Yeah. Um, the thing is though, it, it's that's almost not even the whole point of the show. Like if it was, yeah. if it was like SVU, but that is the point of the show. Ugh. You're bummed. But I, I think that the character development and where they're going with it, there's so much going on mm -hmm. that if the fact that you pick it out, you, you don't even care. Yeah. You're like, this is still going to be a great episode. I'm going to love every bit of it. But Super. it's the Doctor. <laughs> what, what? Whoops. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on now to uh, news for this week. Now, Sam, you gathered a bunch of news stories. Mm -hmm. I think that the biggest one, people keep talking about it and sending sending me the, the footage is the, uh, the Batman yeah. on the set of Suicide yeah. Squad. Which, which like, uh, can we quit it with the Suicide no, Squad really? leaks? We did, uh, we did this, were you in the story? Was it no, Steve? that was, I was yesterday. Steve. Uh, uh, it was, we talked about it and I brought it up. It's just like, why do you want to know everything? Why do you no. want to know everything going into the movie? Here's the thing though, I, don't, I, I wonder if the reason they don't care about people seeing this stuff, one, I think we've known Batman's going to be, not known, they haven't released it, but we've all no. figured he's going to be joke in. Is but, in it. Uh, but uh I wonder if one if because it might be the explain like it might be the prologue to the movie like it might be the first scene of Joker getting put away mm. also have we thought that maybe these are scenes shot for Batman v Superman hmm. because there's been rumors that Jared Leto's Joker would appear in that so they just they shot those scenes after the fact uh they like just, well, now that they're waiting for the setup you know for what? like I'm not saying it is the case, but I no, mean, I think you're right, DJ. Because here's the thing: that movie was conceived as one film, and now it's being released in two parts. So I have to wonder. Well, which, uh, Batman v Superman. That was just a rumor. No, it, it, it was just a rumor. That was just, just a, a rumor. really. Yeah, yeah, now I feel like a fool. Had a heart attack. Okay. It's wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like rewind this. Just look yeah. at my eyes. Go. <laughs> what a. <laughs> it was, no, it was a rumor that got a lot of people. So oh it's okay. yeah. yeah. All right, fair Although enough. Although I was hoping it was true because that would have meant it would release the first half would have released sooner. But, but also, whatever. if you're looking End at the, the production yeah. timeline of Batman v Superman, they definitely they probably have some kind of of edit in place now. Yeah. Like they've shot the majority of their footage. Yeah. I think they wrap principal photography. Yeah. Which means that they are now in prime time to do some reshoots. Yeah. Uh, or to yeah. do pickups and this and could be one of those pickups. Also the wait for like it's a it'd be a neat budget saving move to wait and use some of Suicide Squad's production while with, they're doing, doing it. Batman v Superman. And also it's a good way to throw people everybody's like Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad maybe it's Batman v Superman. I thought everyone and was like know. Suicide Squad stop And also that. do we don't want a Batman for Superman movie with Lex Luthor not Joker, at least in a scene. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, I mean come I on. actually, I, I don't, I, I guess. I thought it was Batman versus Superman. Yeah, I, know, I didn't even like, need Lex Luthor in there, really. Except yeah. with Wonder Woman. With Wonder Woman. With Wonder Woman. The whole Batman and the V in this, the V for versus is, the, is where I have a problem with it. Because that's the whole thing. There's no good reason for these two to fight. Yes, uh, but it looks is. like the movie's trying real hard to make a good reason by making both Batman, both Batman and Superman kind of look like shitheads in that trailer. Yeah, which I'm just so, sort of, I'm very And maybe, perplexed. you know what, maybe there is a good story to tell about both Batman and Superman learning something about being heroes from each other. Don't they? Now you sound like Supergirl's TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's learn a lesson well, here. Well, but seriously, if you're gonna have the characters no, duke it out, DJ. like get something out of it. I mean, yeah. come on. I, here's, point. here's my, and I've said it before, I'll say Shit. it again. My big fear <laughs> for Batman v Superman is it'll be another Batman jerk fest. Well, get, listen, everybody loves Batman. We all know Batman's great. Come on. There's <laughs> yeah. too much Batman. I just, yeah. want, I just want a completely good Superman movie because there is none. Honestly, if you put uh, Christopher Reeve's first Superman movie and Superman Returns and Man of Steel into a blender, you'd probably get out a pretty great Superman you'd movie. You'd get a fantastic yeah. Superman. And what we'll get into more of this later, but I honestly feel like Supergirl is the best live action Superman thing we've ever gotten. Man, we can't. We'll get it. We're, we're, we're going to kill, kill each other. other. We're, we're I gonna feel gonna like it each captures other. the spirit way better we're than most other, other things. Yeah. Uh, but did you guys all watch the footage? What'd you think of no, it? No, I'm avoiding stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I'm done with well, seeing it. At the moment, it's all talk, no action, and but it's like the fact that they are dropping all of these things. I was saying it's like an Easter egg hunt because these are the Easter eggs, and it's like, you know, let's look for Easter eggs. Here they are. Eat them now. Eat them. Eat them. And yeah. you're like, what? That wasn't. It's like when you pour the eggs you were... in front of the kids and like, Go yeah. Ahead. Some yeah. of the kids that are watching us might not know, but I remember a time where it's like I didn't know a movie was coming out till I saw the trailer in front of another movie. 
or until it came out, if you didn't happen to go to a movie that had a trailer for it. Like, what? That's a thing that exists? There's like, too much lead time, and it's like, if we get excited now, we're not going to be excited in 14 months when we're ready to actually watch it. Yeah. Do you think that like, maybe happened with Avengers? Age of Ultron? I think so. Uh, really no, because I went and saw Avengers Age of Ultron again, and like when I rewatched Daredevil, <laughs> the things I liked, I liked more, and the things I didn't like, I liked even less. Ooh. Yeah. That last fight scene in Avengers Age of Ultron goes on Forever. Oh yeah, and like you know an what? hour long. It's so funny. Yeah. The edit, they had to take out all of Joss Whedon's, like, you know, he's so good at that clever, witty dialogue. Yeah. And we saw that when they were having that relaxed time together yeah. when they were chilling out off duty. And I feel like those good one on one moments, they kind of edited all of those out so they could have a really, really long And, and also, they, and I think Joss Whedon really tried long. to get those character moments in the action sequences because each character gets a character moment in that action sequence mm. and it just makes it longer. Yes. <laughs> it, yes. Just, it just makes it longer. Uh, Michael Picard at Picard Your Nose says at, uh, on Twitter, uh, at this point, I've walked out of theaters and I'm talking about the end credit scene of Suicide Squad. It's a little bit of a perplexing tweet, but I guess he's saying... Oh, he's seen I've too seen, much of it. Yeah. I've seen so much that it's just sort of like, well... well we all know it's not going to get point? an end credit scene. Yeah, Come totally. On. What's the point? I don't think it's like marketing-wise. It's not smart. No, it's it's the exact inverse of what was going on with uh, Star Trek Into Darkness a couple years ago, where they but, they refused to admit anything, yeah. and we were just sort of like, "Come on, just admit it." It's con. You know, it's con. Just yeah. say that it's con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big twist that that well, I don't want to spoil that movie, although it came out a couple years ago. Yeah, but like, and it's also not very good. So right. Don't bother. It's saying not it. very good at it's all. It really okay. upset me. Um, it, I don't even think it's a solid okay. I, I, I say so. Oh, this is so. This mm. is really. We, we've kind of gone off the rails yeah. a little bit, <laughs> so, but yeah. I digress. Uh, but if Chris Pine had a beard in that... <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Chris Pine, Chris, Chris Pine, Pine, Pine. Chris Pine um, yeah. has been... Pat? Chris Pine has you been cast... No, you oh. it's okay. Chris Pine has been cast Pine. in the Wonder Woman movie. Uh, I don't know if it's confirmed or we... It's not. It's not confirmed, but talks. everyone assumes... Yeah. That he's playing uh, Steve Trevor, which would be great, great casting. Although I yeah. thought Scott Eastwood was playing Steve Trevor, wouldn't be upset with that. Either. It was literally the exact same article, but just take out Chris Pine's name and put Steve Eastwood in there. Like Scott that's all Eastwood. they did. Oh, yeah. Scott Eastwood, sorry. Steve. Stevie. Which, by God. the way, I think the way to make, Who cares? To, to make to um, make uh, Steve <laughs> Trevor <laughs> interesting is basically reposition him as a Jason Bourne type character. I like that, that would make the ladies want oh, because he's wounded and whatever, but he still kind of kicks ass. Is this um, like the and two also, Argus is dumb, and it's a ripoff of S.H.I.E.L.D., and they should go back to Checkmate. I kind of felt like, remember, <laughs> hey. is it se season three of Buffy, when uh, she goes to college and she dates that guy who's in that military kind of group as well? Oh, yeah. I kind of feel like... season four, yeah. Season four. Are, uh, I can't... Oh, Angel. He's so... Angel? He was yeah. the most <laughs> boring love interest of all time. Riley. Yeah. That's Riley. his name. Oh, I, my God. He was so boring. You know who they should watch for Wonder Woman? Uh, Major... And iZombie. Yeah. yeah. Just also, do major. Also, Just... please, somebody hand them the animated Wonder Woman movie that DC put out a few years ago <gasps> and Brian Azzarello's New 52 run. If you kind of combine those, you can't go wrong. Can you you see... can't fuck it up. Av Planes AV one. Planes 1 says Chris <laughs> Pine should be Hal Jordan. That would also be have been great. One. That's what we wanted. I, don't I think will Captain always Kirk spell out ever, I don't night. think Captain Kirk would ever play another spacefarer. He wouldn't play yeah, another spacefarer. Yeah, it's a little too on the nose. And honestly, they, they kind of have to do Jon Stewart, right? I would they love to. Have to I mean, because that the, the Hal Jordan well Hal Jordan's a great character. That well's kind of poisoned mm -hmm. a little bit. I'm really really excited. The big thi biggest thing for me this week was the announcement that uh, George Miller's Justice League movie that got abandoned yeah. is getting a documentary about it what seems happened to awesome. it. Awesome. Which I'm so really, excited about. It, that movie I, was supposed to have John Stewart in common was going to play John Stewart. That's yeah. Right. I uh, but they were going to shoot it like they shot. Polar Express with the CG thing, so I have no, I have go. no excitement Wait. for that Justice League I've movie. I've never Seriously? heard that. Yeah. I thought it was live action. That's what they were talking about at the time when it was going to be released. No. Yeah, and so I have no excitement for oh that. Although God. I was, I looked up the woman that was supposed to play Wonder Woman. I'm like, yeah, really? Megan Gale, she's it, Australian. But then, but then I, I found out that she's Is the Valkyrie in Mad Max, Mad Max and yes. she scared her character Valkyrie. scares me more than Furiosa. Like, the few Ooh. scenes she's in are more intense for me. DJ, than Murray about. Robertson says in all caps in the chat, Argus is pretty different than S.H.I.E.L.D., no, DJ. No, seriously, it was, it was introduced in the New 52 as a direct ripoff of S.H.I.E.L.D., and they had better they had better things before that, and they should have stuck with those. They Argus. Stuck with those. Anyway, just saying. Yeah. Uh, King Sport Cal says Jon Stewart needs to happen. Max Steele, 77, says Nathan Fillion would be perfect for an older Hal Jordan. We've, okay, can, can nah. I just, can I erase a few names from the Hal Jordan bucket? Because they always come up and none of them will get the job. Yeah. Nathan Fillion, 
who I love. And he also voiced Green Lantern on a bunch of things. Voiced so if you, in, if oh, you want him. him uh, in, uh, in the first flight movie. Yeah. Um, and, and, and almost everything. And, and, yeah. and a couple of Justice League animated things. So if you want Nathan Fillion, he also Phil he Phil also Phil. voiced Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman animated oh, movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Con Akater says Sam for the next Hulk. Continue with your I'd be done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jensen Ackles from Supernatural is not going to be Hal Jordan. Except maybe in the CW <laughs> shows, Trevor. which would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. He if could was, be Steve Trevor. That's he, an interesting take. Yeah, or if he was that in the, in the CW shows, that might happen. Sure. TV, TV Hal Jordan? Yeah. Could totally see it. Dude is not a movie star. Yeah. Okay? Um, Has he even had a chance to be? Look, yeah, I'm sorry. Matt. I've watched that show. He's an okay actor. He doesn't have the level of presence to carry a movie. Supernatural in my opinion. That's probably okay. true. I, I Look, hey. that show has its fans... I'm not crazy. Hey, uh, Grant yeah. Gustin could be a good movie flash. After that finale, I After could that say finale, that. Yeah. I was that, very impressed. Yeah. Before that, I would not have said anything about it. But uh, someone says John Stewart as John Stewart. John Stewart. That's true. That would be great. That's John Seption. Um, <laughs> also, weird thing, because they made a joke about John Stewart in the show. That animated Green Lantern series was actually really awesome. I it, it was great. It was, it was surprisingly good. I shouldn't have been. It's Bruce Timmett. What, I, whatever. Anyway, other casting news, rumors, although weak. Source of rumors: Jaden yeah. Smith as Static mm-hmm. Shock. Mm-hmm. No, Which it would was be cool. <laughs> the rumor. It would be great though, because then the <laughs> whole Smith family, Twitter, other than other than Willa, every uh, uh, Willow, everybody would have, everyone in the Smith family would be part of a DC property. Yeah, wait, I'd Sam, be fine with that. What, you reported on this story. Where, all it was was like a guy. I, I'm blanking on his name. He's an the actor. guy who plays Chris. And everybody, everybody hates Chris. Chris. Yeah. yeah, he was in an he's interview. Hired James Williams. Yes. I loved him. Yeah. He was in an interview and he's like, uh, "There's not a lot of black superheroes out there, young black superheroes." And uh, he's like, "I just feel really happy for Jaden for Static Shock." That's, That's the it. sentence. That's, it. That's all. Every news network and a source vendor took it, and then they like <laughs> talked about it. But like, it means nothing. But seriously though, they really uh, Static Shock is really a property they should take advantage of because DC doesn't have a lot of like Spider-Man type heroes. Mm-hmm. And you've got a young black character who had a popular animated series. Really popular. You, Jaden Smith would, would be a good draw for that. I think he'd be fine in the role. Honestly, I've said, again, I think I've said this before too, when they rebooted the Justice League for New 52 instead of Cyborg, I think they should have put Static on the team. Mm-hmm. I think that would have shaken it up more. Mm-hmm. And I think it would, I, I just think it would have been better. I so agree I think with they that. need to do something with that character. And if they don't, if Cyborg, they don't though. make um, Jaden Smith a movie star, if that it, task is impossible, <laughs> or if they decide, you know what? A Static Shock movie is not on our list of priorities. If they wanted to make him one of the leaders of the Teen Titans in the no. Titan show on TNT, no. I think that would be a great that idea. Would be smart. I wouldn't mind Static Shock on that show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the thing. It's like a Jaden Smith movie uh, doesn't really necessarily have any kind of draw or appeal. Jaden Smith on a show, I'd watch it. Yeah. I would be very curious. Because mm. it's after? free. You guys seen that I, I did not. I, I abandoned them that Shyamalan ship after uh, Village. I think was my was, was your last stuff. one. No, I did. I did watch. Uh, what is it? Is it the, the one, happening? The happening. Yeah. Ooh, the that bees. one's real bad. The yeah. bees. Yeah. 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 Uh, DC doesn't care about the Dakota verse. Says Bimario, and they don't, and they should. They really need to. What take, is the Dakota verse? Um, in the <laughs> I want to say the nineties. Um, there was a, a group of black writers and artists created uh, Milestone Comics, which was a bunch of, they had Static, was that's where Static came from. They uh, had Hardware. They had Icon, who was a black Superman. And it was a lot of really cool characters. They did it on black paper instead oh, wow. of white paper. Very they cool. really went all out, and they created some really interesting characters. And it's since the through New 52 and stuff, it's been uh, enveloped into the main DC universe, along with the Wildstar characters like Grifter and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. it adds a lot of dimension Mm-hmm. And they should take more advantage of it, I think. Again, like having Static in the Justice League, I think that'd be really cool. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. You're like a dictionary. Yeah. Um, let's, so dictionary. Is, is there w- one Wikipedia more news exists. story we want to talk oh, about? Oh, yeah. Uh, the big news was Tilda Swin- Swinton is in talks to play the Ancient One in Which Doctor apparently Strange. Which people are throwing a fit about, and yeah. why? Yeah. Who cares? Uh, Who cares the about the Ancient One? one? Is a dude. Yeah. They're throwing a fit. They're throwing a fit about it. It's the same people who threw a fit uh, about Michael B. Jordan playing Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. They're like, it looked this way in the comics. That's who yeah. it should be. But the and difference is, you know that's what? Johnny Storm, and this is the Ancient One. Right. Or do really people care the about people the Asian are, one? Well, no. It's the people who were called racist for saying that Johnny Storm should be white <laughs> are now saying that it is racist to make uh, the ancient one who is an Asian man a white woman. 
even uh, though yeah, but it's also Tilda Swinton and sex out of it. Tilda Swinton is an amazing actress, and she's also the closest. She looks kind of like an alien, yes, just naturally. She so looks I mean, come like on, a spirit or something. Yeah, come on, so delicately. Yeah, she looks like. A, <laughs> Sorry, like, she's great. I like that she's she great. looks like a spirit. Yeah, she's like a spirit. She's, yeah. she's kind of. There. Uh, have you guys seen uh, Only Lovers Left Alive? Yes, she is fantastic. She's in that. so no. good. Anyway. She could stare into your soul and then break your spine with her eyes. Yeah, I never thought I could have a crush on Tilda Swinton until I saw Only Lovers. Left alive, done. She's cool as shit. <laughs> I love her. But I, I mean, I, I was not one of those people that really fought the hard fight about Michael B. Jordan. But I just had like a an instant reflex reaction. Where I was like, really? And then I was like, oh, let me think about this. I'm we, okay. My we only issue with that is that Sue Storm is stayed she's the white. Adopted. Yeah, how yeah, about yeah, being yeah, black? That's it. I was like, how? Are, you, are you that afraid of having a black no, woman in no, no, a superhero no, no, no. movie? Like, I think come it, on! It's cooler to take the adopted route because there's a lot of like, Why? there's a lot, there's a lot of people that are adopted. To, to me, it's yeah, it is cool. Adopted. It is, yeah, but it is cool. Adopted. Adopted. Yeah, it, it just makes me think about all the time, like all the. I just have them be have have the whole have have the whole Fantastic Four be black. Um, Why not? Or have Sue, Storm, have Sue Storm be adopted in yeah. Hispanic I'm and Reed Richards be Asian? Like, why just screw it? Yeah. <laughs> have fun I mean, with it. Come look, on. It's a comics property that, yes, has a lot of history, but yeah. who really cares about it right now other than Fantastic Four fans? Yes. And that's what I'm saying is they're making a movie that's supposed to draw on a broad the audience. The thing that should bother people about Fantastic Four is that it's not set in the 60s. <laughs> All right, uh, DJ. We got a couple of great uh, Tilda Swinton comments up uh, here. Uh, AV Plains one says Tilda Swinton is a great actor. Who gives a fuck? True. Rogue Mercy says I love Tilda in that role. She played Gabriel in the Constantine movie. She was and cool and rocked it. Yeah, she and then Tycho Z says Tilda Swinton for Hal Jordan. I would watch that. Yep. Uh, I, I also, wouldn't. we got a, a tweet here from Santiago at Santiago one four three four three three four two, and he says just get major. I think for Hal Jordan. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Actor actually, play Major? You, I would watch this shit. Do you guys know that Robbie Buckley, the guy who plays Major, actually has a Green Lantern ring and he keeps posting up photos of him posing with what it a, to try and give Hollywood the What begins. a nerd, huh? Everybody we find those pictures, find those pictures on Instagram, <laughs> favorite them, and share them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Spread yeah. it, guys. Someone, someone send, us, send us some of those photos so that we can retweet them, please. Yes. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Right now. Well, you're on a show right <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, okay. Priorities. I think that that is uh, that is the end of our news segment for right now. But really quickly, before we move on, I need to talk about iTunes. And guys, you blew us away with your support this week, rating and reviewing the show. Uh, right now, we have almost 300 reviews and all, I think around 500 ratings on iTunes, oh my which goodness. is amazing. And and the majority of them came in the last week, and and we really really appreciate it because guys the best way to support this show and source fed nerd is to go to itunes rate and review the show it's how we attract sponsors to this show and keep it going it's how guests know that this is not only a popular show but that it's a well done show and that people love watching it uh it only takes a second it doesn't cost a dime and it really helps us out so go continue your ratings and reviews and you get a great shout out here on the show now i was in no way expecting the sheer amount of reviews that we got this week. So I am only going to read names, and I'm going to read the names of, like, the last 50 people. And I am so sorry. 50? 50. 50. Well, It'll go a lot faster. Let's time uh, when I was When I was doing the, uh, the SourceFed podcast, I read over 100. Wait, and wait, most of them got cut out of the show. Wait for it. And it took forever. Your time. Time me. Starts now. Uh, thank you to Vic BD, SourceFed Nerd Lover, Ellie129, Outlaw2991, Daywood69, Shayna Says, Jacer Jake, the Cape, I'm the Cape Crusader, Lil Chris91, Aesir522, Aesir, uh, NJB1998, Banana3849, JD Butler0509, Rigoro, J Jaya the Sage, Swordster250, Kate MCC27, R Aramaic80, Timber2891, Amina615, uh, this one makes no sense. I'm going to skip it. Um, it. It starts with a D Y P Y P D. It's crazy. Ben Shu OVA, uh, Nodster 22, Clud Monkey, Ali 7, uh, Corey Maracha, uh, Zero Skull 540, Dugan PDX. That's so fine. Don De La Nooch, uh, Cheapo uh, 7 and 15, Aggressively Shy, Wally West 13, mm -hmm. Yeti Chan, VG Player 101, SS Estro 22, Seaman uh, 8299, Rachel 2W2, B Nobles, Jeremy the Movie Madness Podcast, uh, Casualty Report, Erica Ray, 
uh, Nightmare 187, Jer J10, Gid, uh, Inara, Marfatia, uh, Working for Life, Little XX Me, Ksenia Ducks, Double Breakers, Sam Lubinga, uh, Z Rao 13, Ben 610, uh, I 13, uh, JJ Mars, MR Fakar, and Shorty 3632. How long did that take me? One, two, three, four, one. One minute, 23 seconds, and 41 microseconds. That ain't bad. And That's two great. two days. I, uh, three things happened uh, while you were doing that. <laughs> one, um, I liked Maud's uh, robot voice. Your computer voice is excellent. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, a bunch of things were going up on the comments, and I saw Robert Rodriguez's name. Uh, in one comment, and then I saw somebody talking about Shazam in the other, and I realized Robert Rodriguez would make a killer Shazam movie. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't necessarily have him write it, um, but uh, <laughs> I could not that I, I did his writing. It's just it, it, it's a different. It's different. Anyway, it's different for that. Um, and uh, also, if you know one of those people that liked our show, give him a big hug. Give him a big give hug. A big and, and I'm then, sorry and to like those of you show. who also reviewed and you didn't get your shout out here on the show. Timing. I never, we never expected that we get this many. And I'm keep, sorry, I don't want to bore people. Keep reviewing and keep liking it so you have another chance of Yeah, being, send another review and then you have another shout. Dick Grayson says, DJ's Vandal Savage. Yes, please and thank you. I would you. totally, wow, totally cool. watch that. Uh, okay, so I would love to. for the next part of the show, we are going to oh, be discussing... Man. The Supergirl pilot that mm. leaked late I last week. So part. continue to send your tweets to at s uh, to hashtag sh roundup so that you Shroundup. can join our conversation. But we're doing it spoiler free because obviously free. we're going to cover it again next year when it actually right. is supposed so, to be. Prepared. Without revealing anything big that happens in the pilot, how did we feel about it? So I, I recommend everyone when you're watching the pilot to play a little game called That Was Cool and That Wasn't Cool and just tally them up and put them next to each other at the end of the episode. And that's well, a way of kind of staying positive about, like, the really good parts. Yeah, because the there show. are really good parts of this episode, uh -huh. I think. It, it, here's my, my big takeaway. I came in expecting nothing. I got a show that has the DNA of a good show in it. There is a good show to be made from this. As of right now, I feel like the cast doesn't entirely gel together, but that often happens in a pilot. I'm not freaking stopped. out about it. Um, I'm not too crazy about the love interests. I think the action, the plane sequence that's seen in the trailer is great. And I think that they get flying really right in a way that, that uh, Smallville never did, which is so crucial. Um, yeah, entirely. I do think the combat can get a little clunky. Um, but I think they'll figure it out in time. If there hasn't really, I've never really seen a super fight other than like what Flash does because he's not a strength guy. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a super fight on TV that really works for me personally. Um, and, and there are people who will disagree with that and that's great. This is just my personal opinion. Um, I do think that they, they reveal something at the end that's supposed to be a big twist and it, it honestly just bored me. Oh, but I have a fun, well, we can't go into it, but I have a fun theory on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That maybe I'll share at the very end. Maybe you'll share at the very end. The end yeah. End. Most of my most of my issue, honestly, is is just is just casting. I feel like they don't yeah. quite gel together. I don't think any of them did a bad job in their parts. They're all swinging for the fences with their performances, but whether it was the direction or just them together, it just didn't click. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to quote Spencer, who just commented and said, "It has pilotitis." It, that it does. That's, That's the only complaint perfect, I have about huh? it. Pilotitis. It hits its points a little bit too often, a little bit too hard, mm -hmm. and that for me, that's the only complaint I have. Mm -hmm. That's the I'll get only. Into, I'll get. I'll get into it more <laughs> after you guys say your yeah. stuff. Um, I have to agree. The fight scene, the choreography was literally one, two, block, punch, and it. I, maybe we're spoiled with Arrow. I think Arrow's choreography is some of the best I've seen in a show, mm -hmm. and it looks so fluid and beautiful that having this, I mean, maybe, they're warming up. Overall, um, I have hope for it. I just didn't like the pilot. You guys heard me. I was like, why are they doing that? You why had have some the, displeasure. Why have the best friend, this guy that she's barely said three things to, she can't even figure out that he's got a big boner for her, and then all of a sudden she's like, I just have to tell someone. Oh, it's me. And it's like, oh, okay, so you're on um, spoiler-free review mode. <laughs> well, that, 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 that was in the trailer. That was in the trailer. Yeah. So and, that and didn't make before sense anyone jumps down our throat about talking about this, uh, none of us actually downloaded it. 
downloaded it. Yeah. It was here in the office, mm -hmm. and a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people have been tweeting us, asking for our thoughts about it, or tweeting us mm. things about this pilot. It's called Superhero Roundup, and yeah. it is called Superhero and, Roundup. Yeah. So we wanted you to know, regardless of whether or not you watch it, and we're not encouraging you to pirate this thing. Uh, it's worth the wait. Yeah, that, that basically, you should just it's not as bad as it looked. Uh, we got a tweet here from Chase Vaughn at NC Fury. I just don't want the Supergirl show to have a strong female lead who needs a not as strong male to make her life complete. Well, that Ooh. is, I, I, I would say it avoids that altogether. I would also say it's better than other shows that deal with feminist stuff like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and mm -hmm. iZombie because immediately has a stronger female, it has stronger female relationships right off the bat between um, Supergirl and her boss and Supergirl and her sister. All right, I tried to stay really positive when watching this show, like really positive, and that may have been a downfall <laughs> of doing that because there are parts that I like, I have to say that the, the CGI that they use in yep, this is was... on point and the music is great. Wait, not when they go into kind like, of like heartfelt moments. It felt like you didn't a Nicholas like Sparks I, I, movie. I kind of liked it still. Oh. I was okay with it. And especially like near the end when like you, they're kind of closing things up. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, the main actress is almost doing it for me. Can I do my impersonation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, it's, I'm really excited to start working here. It's going to be really great. Um, uh, I just... um. <laughs> Do with these. That sounds. You, you're um, what you're doing right now, <laughs> minus the words, is literally my impersonation of of hentai. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit like that. <laughs> Have you guys? It's like the Anna Faris acting style. I remember when Anna Faris first came out. It was a lot of breathing and not much talking, and I kind of feel that she's just but got those little only kitty mannerisms. That but that's the get thing. Away. The only time that I feel like she's overly breathy like that. Is when she is when she meets James Olsen, mm -hmm. and that's just because she thinks he's hot. Yeah, I don't Kapow. know. A lot of people made dumb decisions, and like the story again, it's a pilot, so maybe and like it, Greg Berlanti's behind it, and like mm -hmm. what they did with like other shows, were they able to bring it back around and explain things better? So what they have given us is a lot of nonsense, and it is a superhero <laughs> show, so you you know like that, like that's how I see it. it's kind of like it's oh, nonsense. Look at that crap. DJ's face. Yeah, so yeah, I, I, I am hold so. It, hold it. Wait, okay. Sorry, sorry. Just hold. Uh, sorry, you're gonna, you're gonna kill me yeah. in like two seconds. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm yeah. just confused. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, but it is the pilot, so things will change, and the pilot might even change too, like Constantine. So mm -hmm. I'll still watch the show. All right, DJ, you have the floor. Honestly, I to me, no, no. It's I I just uh, I feel like the criticisms I've heard you guys level against this show makes me wonder, like where. You could level all these criticisms against Flash, but we don't. So why this show? There's a difference mm. between camp and just something that doesn't quite work. But are, Flash has plenty of things that don't quite work because we gloss over it. Do you know Honestly, what it is? It's a th that we're a season in on The Flash. I maybe, think that we all had that because, pilot and we're like, eh, yeah, and we for bitched me, like this. For me, for me well, I, we didn't, but uh, mm. it, which I think is part of where my confusion comes from. But... For me, and part of this is because I am a Superman fan, and I will admit that, I enjoyed, I'm not saying it's better than, I enjoyed it more than the Flash pilot. I feel like it got through its bullshit quick. The, the whole, like, the whole, like, oh, I have a date. It got, that, that, all that, her going on a date and saving the plane, I guess, spoilers, I'm sorry, all happens within, like, five saving minutes the of, the, the of, the, of the show happening. Like, it gets through that really quickly. Um, again, pilot itis, I, itis, it hits its points. Cool, we get it. She's Superman's cousin. Cool, we get it. She's a girl superhero. Uh, we, it hits it a little bit too often and a little bit too hard. It does, and again, we can't go into spoilers. As a Superman fan, fan, it does cool things with the mythology. Her parents that we don't see a lot of, there's a hint that they connect to the mythology in a cool, not, not her birth parents, but her on earth parents that oh. raise her. There's a hint Earth, of it. Birth. Yeah, the way the, there's a one line that she describes their relationship with Superman, and it sounds really interesting. The setup for it, like Flash had the reactor exploding again in the trailer, we see it's a bunch of aliens, a little cool Easter eggs when they bring up a bunch of the aliens on the screen. That's a cool setup. The way she relates to the the people trying to hunt the aliens is is interesting to me as a Superman fan that enjoyed most of some of Smallville. Uh, I'm so glad it wasn't the typical like. Zoom in, throw a guy, and that's your fight. Mm. Honestly, I didn't have any issues with the fight scenes. If, if we're gonna, for me, if we're gonna start getting nitpicky about super fights, I've got a lot of things I can say about flash fights. Sure. Other than they, the finale, a lot of um, them, a lot of them are far from perfect. I mean, obviously, there's episodes that spend more of the budget than others. I I liked 
Melissa Bynum was the only thing, the only person that stood out to me uh, was Jimmy Olsen because I'm not used mm. to Jimmy Olsen being that dreamy, and also he was he was uh, James. basically James. He was James. basically there to be uh, uh, dreamy and also talk about Superman a lot. And uh, I feel like he's in another show. I feel like he's in a he's, different what, show. He's that, on like True Blood or something. Well, no, no, no. He's I mean, like things. in this in pilot, yeah. he <laughs> is he's, he is performing the the show that he is in yeah. on this show is different from the show that everyone else is. Yeah, in. he's the only one that stands out to me. I like I like I, I again, it's in the trailer when she's trying on different costumes. They're they're versions of the costumes she's had in the comics. That's fun for me, and her right. making fun of them and how skimpy also they are. Also great, funny, yeah. fun for me. Uh, she kicks so much ass in this show, like right off the bat. Does but she? She does. There's there's the car save, which doesn't go no, quite no, where no, 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 no. It's in the trailer. It's actually it's in the trailer. Oh, okay. Again, if you've seen the trailer, yeah. you've basically seen the pilot. Uh, the, the bank with the bullets, uh, bullets bouncing off of her. The yeah. two fights she gets with the alien, who's a joke in the comics, but actually kind of cool in this. They set up really cool things. I think the I think the major villain, there. I I think that it could connect to something really cool. I really liked it. I really, I honestly, it felt very much in line with Arrow and the Flash, and I feel like, other than the fact it does some dumb things that pilots do, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it has the it has the potential to get even better. All right, here's here's what I will say about this because I do think that you bring up some salient points, DJ. But to answer your question earlier about the difference between this and Flash, and Arrow had the same problem too, is that when I saw the Flash pilot, not perfect, but I immediately liked. Just about everyone on the cast. And that's the way I feel about this. That's really? Again, the only person that does, stands out to me, like Callista Flockhart is great as Cat Grant. Like, that's Cat Grant. She's Cat Grant. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, the only one that stands out to me is is James Olsen, because you're right, he does feel like... He's doing something he needs, different. He need, We need to figure out what his thing is other than to tell up, things up about, and away. Su about Superman. You know, he, he, he needs to be up, more than just away. the connection to Superman. And, and by the way, if the show does not bring in their version of Superman, well, they, what are they, they, doing? they need yeah. to. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> they won't. Feel? There's How, no way. I, it would, they Dollars to, to donuts, we never see his face. We'll see. If they do, that'll be the biggest mistake. Wait, sorry. How'd you feel about her sister? And Because you guys, see, these are in the trailer, so it's yeah. her sister and the leader of this alien investigation Great. group. You were okay. Great, because they set, they set up a cool antagonistic relationship between them. I like his little gr grumpy, gruffy one-liners, and it's a complicated, by the way, I don't think it's a, uh, it's on IMDb, I don't think it's a mistake that her name is, what is it, Alexa, Alexis, Alexis? Lex? Yeah, I think, I, and, also, <laughs> and also her buddy, the guy I'm that sorry, helped, the, no, what? The, the, <laughs> uh, uh, the guy that um, uh, also that is helping her is also Winslow Schott, who's Toyman from the comics. Right. There's a lot of potential for the relationships to become complicated, like on, they do this a lot. Arrow and Flash started off very uncomplicated. Arrow a little bit, he broke a guy's neck in the pilot. But <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason that kept me it, watching the show. Flash, like, oh, this could be Flash interesting. Flash was complicated. Uh, well, right at, at the, the very end, at the very, very end. end. But, um, uh, I feel like there's a chance for these relationships to grow into very complicated things. And I like the relationship with the sister. Could you imagine having a life and then suddenly Superman, the, a girl version of Superman your, becomes your younger sister? Fuck me, man. Fun <laughs> idea. Seriously? Come but on. like, they kind of... It kinda goes quick. It, it goes head. quick, but I, 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 yeah. I and it's Delt difficult with. because yeah. there's not a lot of time to delve into it, which we'll have chances to later. But I also like that they just got on with it. Yeah, th that, there's not there's not really any wasted time in the episode. I no. didn't pussyfoot um, put around. No. Stegman Thompson on Twitter at the Stegman 100 agrees with you. He says, "Can we talk about Cat Grant? Because I loved her and she stole every scene that she was in. Um, and her performance is less grading watching the pilot in motion mm -hmm. um, than in the than in the trailer I out of context. I, I definitely agree with that. There's definitely room for improvement. I just personally, it just it just wasn't great, and uh, I just. I can't stand that scene on the rooftop with Winslow Shop where mm -hmm. he says, oh, of course, the only reason, the only conceivable reason that you didn't like me is that you're a lesbian because that is the most hackneyed, sexist bullshit. You, you, were, you were not, well, I don't know if it's sexist, but you're not, you're not wrong, but you want to talk about uh, Captain Cold's one-liners a couple episodes in The Flash? Which ones? <laughs> again, like, again, there's corny joke, like well, all the cold one-liners one in The Flash. That's right. offensive, though. <laughs> well, I, but I don't yeah. think it's, offensive. <laughs> one's I, I think offensive. it's just a bad joke. One is, one is 
camp to the nth degree. Like, like the, what Wentworth Miller is doing with his Captain Cold, I don't agree with it all the time, no. and it's not always fun to watch because it is so over the top, but it is someone swinging for the pe- fences with a ridiculous performance. Thank you, because I've always felt that way. We've, we've never brought that up. He bugs the hell out of me sometimes <laughs> in that show. Right. Sorry, back to the Supergirl. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, Final thoughts, and then we're going to move on to the best show and episode of the year. I wish I hadn't have watched the really bad trailer for it, and I may, I may have liked it more. Uh, I I'll think, stick to it. Uh, oh, you you like it? it? We'll stick to it. Yeah, I'll stick to it. But uh, like the things that you like that it went so fast, I wish it is a pilot and no. they're trying to like pitch the whole show. They needed to slow down just a little bit, just like pump the brakes a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like you look, okay, you, there's a Superman here, but there's no other superheroes maybe, and like now there's aliens and there's a and, like blah blah blah. So and, a like, lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to spoil things. I just realized I was about to. But like there's just a lot, mm-hmm. a lot happening really really fast. So maybe they can slow down once the show starts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the secondary characters need to make sense because at the moment they don't. Oh, they do not. The boss, Supergirl, the sister, that's it. Everything else at the moment just doesn't make sense. It's a bit forced and contrite. Yeah, personally. Okay. Uh, we are moving on to our question of the day. <laughs> Final segment on the show. What, in your opinion, show of the year, episode of the year? Really quick, I forgot my name. Sam has big enough boobs for Power Girl. Thank mm. you. Thanks. That's now, the truth. Sam, do you have a, a, a point about this? <sighs> Come back to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not about the boobs for Power no. Girl. Oh, 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 I got no, show of the year. Sure, 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 sure. No, I guess they had a point. They had a point. That your boobs are big enough for Power Girl? I think so. I, I, think, I mean, I, I, the conversation between us probably Power should be point. who was our second favorite show of the year, right? Because I think we're all pretty much we on the same. We need an honorable year. mention. Yeah. Are we because, all in agreement that Flash was the show of the year? Yes. Yeah, I think I did have some clunkers, but also, I mean, tw- after 23 episodes a season, like, there's going to be some clunkers. Sure. But overall, especially, I, I, yeah. Do we say best, worst, honorable mention? Well, worse is Ooh. Gotham. I feel Thank like there's you. there's worse one rough for easily, easily Gotham. Yeah. Gotham. And right yeah. behind it is it Powers or Constantine? Constantine had some good times. Yeah, but, but so powers. Powers. I feel like Powers and Constantine for me are a little bit e- neck and yeah. neck as far as he, not because that's goodness. the thing is like uh, Constantine was maybe better produced week to week, but it was boring. Let me put it and to you. And Powers <laughs> was never boring, but it was not always great. Let me put it to you this way: I forgot we even talked about Constantine until mm-hmm. today, where I was thinking Oy. back to the shows that we. Talked about. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Flash. I mean, Flash had you had the Grodd episode. You had the finale. The the I the, you know we come on the best issues, one, but I like the pilot. You the, know what I mean? the first weather wi- the wi- weather wizard. Yeah, the weather weather wizard episode. That's time wizard. Travel, all yeah, that. Star Wars reference. Um, episodes uh, episode of the year for me is very very difficult. Yes, because we, uh, we should each throw out a few. Throw out a few. Uh, for me, episode two of Daredevil. Yes. Easily on the list. And Drew the Goddard. best episode of that show. Best episode of that series. I also really series. liked, I think it's episode five. It's the one leading up to uh, when he's in the warehouse. Uh, I believe that's episode four. Yeah. I also yeah. really like that. And I, watching it again, I really like that episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so really that episode, um, the Arrow mid-season finale where yes. he fights Roz and dies. Yes. That, mm-hmm. to me, yeah. Yeah. high mm-hmm. watermark of that show. They oh, did, I, in my opinion, they did not top that episode Although for the rest of the year. Although close to that, the Brick arc right after that was, was pretty, also was, really was good. was pretty good. Yeah, yeah I would agree with that. was so short, too. I almost forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Um, I would also throw in there the Agent Carter pilot because it's so rare that a pilot yeah. is that much fun. Yeah, I think my runner-up for a show of the year might... Be Agent Carter. I yeah, really we got like some. Agent we Carter got some tweets like that. Uh, Christoph James at it's Chris, uh, Chris on says uh, show of the year Agent Carter episode when Flash first goes back in time, and I believe yeah. that that's Rogue time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe. that's the episode Wait, no. where he's dealing with that. That's yeah. That is the episode. He's he went back to the in time the episode before that. So oh, I don't know if he's talking about that, that ep, the, where the episode where he reveals oh, the oh, where back he time, actually travels or, or the one the, where the, everything's changed. So then that with would it. be out of time. Yes. Out of time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maude, that would be the one with a different time pun. Episodes um, of the year. <laughs> hold on. Best series Flash. Worst series Gotham. Honorable mention I Zombie. Best episode yeah. Flash finale hands down because it was the episode that made me scream at the screen. No. It was great. Scream screen. Screen mm. scream. That's my final answer. Yeah. Screen. screen. Uh, we got a comment in the chat, Marcus McCabe. Gotham got better near the end, but was the weak link this year. I think we can all agree that it was it was just garbage. I don't, but I don't was it ever, better, or were you more Gotham, used to Gotham it? Gotham has Fish some okay episodes. Yeah. The pilot being one of them. 
Um, pilot okay. might be its best episode. Oh, yeah, I right. I yeah. did not enjoy the pilot. I didn't watch after the, the, pilot. the pilot. The pilot was a lot like a lot of pilots, like 50 50. If it, depending on which show it decides to be, and it decided mm. to be the shirt one. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd say best show of the year, easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Flash. Uh, then best episode had to be when he runs back in time. Really close behind it is the finale, but it's but just also because. Also, the episode was real, real. That was that's for uh, you. but it I would not. Well. I wouldn't say it's better oh, than Out of really? Time or the finale. No, yeah. Out of it's Time just me. like oh, wow. it, there's so much that they introduced in that episode. Mm-hmm. Just so many different elements, but they all work together really well. Minus that little romantic thing that happened in the middle, and it was really dumb. But mm-hmm. like besides oh, I that, I liked that. Besides that, I liked it. It was amazing, and the show that gets honorable mention is I Zombie because yeah. wow, that show didn't need that to be good. That was a real surprise. Which kind of touch back on the Supergirl thing real quick. We were kind of fifty fifty on those I Zombie. Pilot too. Oh, I that didn't show, like it. That show ended up being. Like I, I I didn't mind it, but I kind of didn't click with it straight away. Yeah. So but now I I'm mean, just like, again, Yee. once we get past the pilot, Supergirl might not. No. Be. That's why I have hope. Yeah. Fully acknowledging hope. that that's possible. No, DJ. no. Yeah. Also, best episodes from other shows. Second episode, of Daredevil. Uh, first two episodes of Agent Carter, because for me it kind of went downhill. And the episode of Constantine, where there was that demon boy. If you guys remember that, that was over a oh, year yeah, ago. Oh yeah, that was the probably the, that was probably the best. That was probably one, the best with the light episode. bulbs on the floor and stuff like that. Yeah, that was great. That was um, the best one one Montoya twelve on Twitter says Arrow, and he's from Colombia. He says Arrow from Colombia. So Arrow, he says, is the show of the year. I wanted Arrow to be the show of the year, but it, it simply was not. This, it was, season. this season was too volatile. I do think I I think season two of Arrow was better than season one of The Flash, which is fine. It's season oh, one of The Flash. Oh, I think I may. I'd, I think season two I of think Arrow. That that's a solid argument. Of of these shows, I think season two of Arrow is the high water mark, and we'll. I don't know if the show will ever get as good as that again because <laughs> of it's, how everything tied. To Probably. Together. Usually the best season of a show is season one, two, or three. Mm. Once you're out of those gates, everything gets a little unwieldy and complicated. No. And you've also seen it everything before. They have no. to figure out new ways to surprise you. That makes you. me think of uh, The Shield, the one with uh, Michael Chiklis, yeah. where his yeah. best seasons for me were one, four, and seven. Yeah, I'd agree with you. Yeah. I'm so dumb. We didn't talk about uh, the finale for S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, yeah, also yeah. Up runner, runner the best up. episodes. I think the last five episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Wow. What is that? What goes on with that fucking show, man? They save all the good stuff for last. For they the gotta end. set it up. Yeah, it's always I don't really. Why make shaky. it twenty-two episodes? They really uh, should. They the shouldn't. front half of the season should be Agent Carter. Back half should be Agents of Shield. I one hundred percent agree. Two eleven episode seasons. Yeah. Or ten episode seasons. Whatever. Twelve episodes. I don't care. Just separate them and give them both equal love. I yeah. agree completely. Um, I don't have much to add to what you guys are saying. I will say I, I think episode four of Daredevil was really good and was the most like a TV show as opposed mm-hmm. to a Netflix thing where they expect you to stream the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm just throwing out different... I agree with everything you guys are saying. I'm just mm-hmm. throwing out different things. Uh, the episode where Arsenal sacrifices himself on Arrow... Was also very was good. really good. Mm-hmm. Um, although the climb... I mean, and the Flash finale, again, I've said it before, the Flash finale was the most like reading a comic yeah. on TV. Uh, mm. Worst episodes of the year. Oh. And, and let's take Gotham out of this equation yeah. entirely because we're, I, how do you choose? Yeah. Um. <laughs> just, oh, also, uh, uh, Trickster episode of uh, Flash was a lot of fun. That was surprisingly good. Mark Hamill. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please come back. And, very fun. and deliver that stupid, kitschy line of, I am your father, but Mark I Hamill sold like the that. shit out no. of that. Really, oh, the, way, yeah. the way he sold Don't it. Don't taint like, Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, no. Modest to attach to Star Wars. Uh, but like a worst worst episodes of the oh, year. Oh man, the dumbest episode of the year, the Flash episode with the shapeshifter. Man, Barry, you're so mm-hmm. they, that was that was, a, some really that was dumb the low water mark of that show. For that this year. Will, oh man, um, real bad. And also and some of the early episode, episodes. Bumblebee episode was the low yeah, water that, mark. Yeah, I also didn't like the the oh, multiple way. man one, like the Second multiplex. Yeah. I didn't, yeah well, I didn't mind that one as much. I, it kind of bothered me at that point because they kept killing off all their villains. Yeah. Like, literally everybody and was... And they even brought that up in the show. They're yeah. like, we can't kill everybody, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, those episodes were pretty weak. Um, some of the later Arrow episodes, like, before he went over uh, to Nanda Parbat, like, it was, like, after he came... Between when he was rose from the dead mm-hmm. and when he went to Nanda Parbat, things got real dumb for a while. I also think that the, there was this weird... Again, we talked about before the real verse, Arrow and Flash. Like, Arrow had a lot of solid episodes right before the end, but then the last, like, two, th- two or three were not very good. Whereas Flash had a few weak ones, and then by the end, it was all systems go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really firing yeah. on all systems. Also, 
props to the crossover episodes, which I wish they do more. Yeah, of those, those, were, those were great, were great. Too. But that was maybe oh, Arrow's favorite the, episode the, for me. The the that was that the touted crossover, the, crossover in the fall. Yes. Mm-hmm. Although I hope next season they do a, le- a little less of the stopping in. Yeah, stopping the weird, by. the weird stopping by stuff because it's like, it's or at least find a way to make it feel a little smoother. Like, it, especially it, with Flash to Arrow, Flash showing up yeah. in Arrow, like, oh guys, I can help you out of this prison, but I can't See help ya. you with the bombs. With right, the, yeah. like but Buffy, why? Buffy yeah. and why? Angel, like two seconds, literally, yeah. <laughs> Buffy and Angel kind of had it right. The, those, a lot of those appearances True. felt very, very natural yes. for those shows. Mm-hmm. Um, other other week episodes. It's funny me, that we're having oh. uh, Laurel Black Canary, where she transitioned and she oh, was fighting. Yeah. It was just like. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. no thanks. <laughs> I know don't mean. fight. You'll get hurt. I don't care. Oh, I got hurt. I told yeah. I said. She's down yeah. in two seconds. Same by the way, that. what happened to Wildcat? Is he dead? Is he not dead? Oh, when we tweeted out today, by the way, uh, they had a gif of the boxing glove. Yeah. That might be one of my favorite moments, the boxing glove arrow, mm-hmm. even though the episode. But, like, what happened to Wildcat? Is he dead? I don't know. Hold on. Was the Cupid girl this episode? What? Was that this season? Yes, it was. Ooh, yes, I didn't like her. I that episode was real dumb, too. They yeah. set it up to be something I'm really stupid. 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 No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Luke J. Holmes in the chat says, both bad Flash episodes were primarily setups for other things. Nanotech and the Wells shooting. Uh, Elite Maji 52 says, Arrow's flashbacks this season sucked. Agreed. I agree. Yeah. Parmendeep Chada says, remember the Deadshot episode, uh, Deadshot Suicide Squad episode? That shit was that amazing. Was great. With the exception of him getting killed, I thought that that was also one of the best episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Arrow this season with the flashback with the kids and he's drunk and he has yeah I thought that was fantastic I yeah the one where, that where he and Diggle are out yeah, I don't, no 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 I, I I'm, mean, I'm, like, mi- I'm mixed on that episode no, I don't I know like if, I don't know if Arrow can support a Multiple. child child abu- abusive family plot I don't think it's that I don't it's not that show. it's not yeah. serious enough to like deal with that in yeah. any real way I get okay it. someone yeah. says something here that I want to open up to the floor I oh man we're out of time oh, okay. open up briefly all right open it briefly so. Felicity Fun. Smoke. Oh, yeah. Felicity Smoke on Arrow has gotten a lot of hate this season, and I feel it's unwarranted. Michael Tauri on Twitter at Maslum Altun says, Can we speak about Felicity becoming a little bitch this season? Oh, like she basically so cried at everything, no joke. She I, did get a little weepy at the end and it was a little much. Right, for but me, <laughs> personally. But don't call her. I prefer Felicity call her be weepy than uh, <laughs> Iris B. Yippee. Yeah. No. I would rather her be weepy than Iris B. Yippee. And also. First of all, she helped design the Adam suit. She basically ran Arrow operations when and when she thought Oliver was dead and was doing all of this shit, doing her fucking job when she thought he was dead and when she thought that he mm. was stuck in Nanda Parbat never to return. And she to still suit. kept a head on her shoulders and saved a ton of fucking people. And she <laughs> flew the fucking Adam suit and saved Oliver at the very, very end. So I, I think that that's completely reductive. And you're skipping over all the things that she actually accomplished this year. Whew. By your reaction, which I agree with everything you're saying, is that it reminded me that this show's a soap opera. It is a soap opera. Which, well, well, which, which, yeah. which I actually like the soap opera elements, but I think her part in that got pushed a little bit too much for... she. There's like three episodes where she couldn't stop crying near the end. And it's like, oh, for one, Oliver's kind of being an asshole. Care. Like, get over it a little bit. Like, Oliver's yeah. kind of being a dick. Like, Would let's... you rather? It's Oliver's fault for bringing fight. it to a love place. He <laughs> brought it to a love cry. place last year. Of no. course, now she's got feelings swimming around. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Also, that superhero fight club thing that CW did was real smart. Yeah. That was Same fun. as a point. Uh, uh, Same as a point. Mod wanted to, real oh, yeah. quick, to do uh, the. So, DJ the and I were talking about all the seasons and how, like, a flow chart would be. So, it was like at the start of the season, did it go? well was it great was it a strong start did it get better did it get worse so we yeah. were going through all the seasons yeah. and saying how they looked so let's start off with arrow we Which thought was that arrow more... did this and then did this uh. <laughs> uh, she's doing like a little zigzag line and then it oh, was oh, right. oh, okay. podcast. podcast middle up down up down up down up down 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 flash i think uh started high and then just kind of did like a little down a, slow, a little down swoop in the very and beginning then up, up 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 shut up and then a little down and then up 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 again and then pow for and that finale. Broke yep. out of the graph. Yeah. yeah. And then what did we say? Uh, Daredevil, uh, I think we're all in agreement that, like, start off real strong, real le- strong. leveled out, and then started guttering. And then started yeah. dropping. <laughs> and the <laughs> end kind of got a little... A little bit, a little bit, a little yeah. bit better. The but, finale didn't suck, but, but like, the three King episodes Pin, leading up to the finale were not great. That Kingpin Daredevil fight and the Daredevil final suit were not that great. No, they yeah. weren't Although great. the episode where Daredevil fights the dude with the chain blade is also really good. Yeah, I, I like that. I wish, they, I wish that episode hadn't been as much of a one-off. 
Mm, yeah. Anyway, anyway. but uh, anyway. But Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., I say, you didn't very much like the beginning of the season I started lot. off kind of okay, did a few zigzags, but then by the end was like... <laughs> On, in my opinion, it was going up, 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 and then you had that finale, that mid-season finale, which was crazy, and then... Shoo, Drop down and then right back up for that finale. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and uh, powers. Um, there is no graph because everyone just forgot to make it because it just wasn't. Yeah, that great of a show. Constantine. I'd wait. I it deleted was, it. it. That was volatile. I would as say well. two. There were like two and a half good episodes of that ten episode show. Yeah, I wish that cast could have. That guy's good. At Constantine. Charlto? No, the guy that no in Constantine. Oh, oh the, the guy show. that played Constantine. I want him to show up in Arrow and have them call him Constantine. Yeah. Anyway. Constantine. Yeah. Don't yes, get him started. Don't get him started. Don't get him started. We real just quick, got him off it. Real quick, we're running out of time. Pull list. Did we run through our gaff shows real quick? Yeah. Did we, okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick, convergence is over. Thank God. Um, mm. And now we're getting on to some really cool stuff. Uh, they're changing things up. Action Comics 41 is the start of the new status quo for Superman, which they're changing things up a lot. Uh, Justice League 41, Dark Side War, where Dark Side's fighting Anti Monitor, can't really get any bigger. Um, Midnighter uh, is one of the first mainstream major gay characters. It's basically Batman if he murdered people and was gay. Wow! He's getting, Sign me he's, up. He's getting his first. His first. I don't know if it's does his he first stalk the New York City club scene. No. Okay. He murders people. All right. Well, okay. I think maybe he murders <laughs> people at clubs. Uh, also, uh, Big Man Plans number three. Big Man Plans is from Eric Powell, who did uh, The Goon, and it's about a oh, dwarf who's had enough movie. shit and can't take it anymore and is murdering, murdering the fuck out of people. What's the name of it? Find uh, me big, big, big Man I Plans. I just know it. <laughs> big, <laughs> man plans. Big, man plans. big Man Plans. And it's like Kill Bill if, if me, you? Uh, she was a dwarf. Cool. Um, and then, uh, meanwhile, Marvel's still doing Secret Wars, and there's a bunch of books going on there, but Secret Wars number three is coming out. Great. And if you read Star Wars comics, uh, oh, yeah. Star Wars uh, issue five, you're seeing a split between Han and Leia, and Luke's going off to do his own thing because he needs to find his own identity because Obi Wan has just passed away in that fashion that we saw on because the Because it takes gesture. place between New Hope Straight and after Emperor, a New Hope. which yeah. they cannot get enough of that. Yeah, period everything of time. is. <laughs> um, Darth Vader, if you're watching that one, there's a lot of um, hot on Luke's being hunted by Boba Fett, Boba Fett on Tatooine, which nice. is. Unreal, and you see a new side of him, which is fantastic. That's worth it in itself. And says to me that um, the way that Disney's going is that they are making Bo the Boba Fett the new character to maybe have an anthology yes. fil Ooh. film. Which yep. I think was the one Josh Trank was supposed to have, and then he fucked up Ooh. real bad, and now Oops, he's not directing it. Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Vader is uh, getting better and better with everyone, and he has some great dialogue with Jabba in issue four. But we're nice. up to I think five on that one too. Fun so. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot my name says uh, Sneaky Pete for Sam and the Oops. Movie. Yeah. So, and oh, and great. hashtag Robert Buckley for Green Lantern. Yes. Ooh. Love that idea. Yeah. Uh, so I saw a thing in the chat. Someone was asking, are we still going to get this show, even with all the shows going off the air? This show is going nowhere. It will still be every single week, every Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific from Friday. now on. Uh, once the shows go off the air, it's just going to be a topic based show. We're going to be including you in the conversation a little bit more, and we're going to be talking about news and gossip and all the things that matter to us when it comes to comic book shows and movies. Okay? Yes. Movies. Somebody in the comments said Mana's great addition to his show to the Aww. show. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, that is our show for today. Uh, Rate and review the show on iTunes and SoundCloud. Subscribe if you haven't already on YouTube and iTunes. Uh, Maude, where can the people find you off, off of the line? I'm on Twitter, uh, Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 at Maude Garrett. And Sam? Sam is at Sam Basher, S-A-M-B-A-S-H-O-R <laughs> on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Vine, Tumblr, well, look, well, look at this yeah. guy. He's on That's Tumblr. Great. And uh, I'm DJ Wooldridge, and I'm at DJ Talks Trash, spelled like it sounds. And if you can follow me there to hear me talk trash about things, except apparently the Supergirl pilot. <laughs> That's the one thing you don't want to trash. Yeah. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Matt Lieberman. That's M-A-T-T-L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N. Thank you all so much for joining us. Join us again next Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Thanks, guys. See you then. Bye. 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 Bye.